Hey, welcome back. We're back in Timberborn, and today we've got a couple of projects to do. The first one that I want to tackle, though, is going to be with that solar panel field that we put in last time. It's a very nice solar field, but not connected to anything. So let's lay out some plans to get this started connecting in here. So we're going to come up the side of the mountain here. Here we go. Actually, I don't need that one. There we go. All the way up here. And let's get a short road. There we go. Eventually, the road is going to have to go or we're going to have to change it. But we'll figure that out once they get this stuff in. Let's toss in a couple of items here. We're going to want to turn. There we go. We're going to want a adapter and we'll do this and of course down the side of the mountain here let's see right there but i'm going to pause these so they're sure to get everything in there and let's see if we can get in here and get this all set up so we've got that then we just need a regular one of these we're definitely going to need at least a couple of these. Let's let's use these because we don't need really the universals here for no reason. Put you in there. Same thing here. This one at the bottom. All the way up. And that one goes there. Now we just need one more of these. And that... And this, and we'll let them put that stuff in first before we continue on with the rest of this. Something else that I've noticed is that we are almost always out of mountain salt now. Our little mines from the beginning just aren't cutting it. We have this big uh, food section here that's taking all the mountain salt. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put in some more mines right here. I figure it's close enough. To the food section and it's close enough to the mining section that seems like a pretty ideal spot so let's toss in some dynamite we're gonna need dynamite here and then we're gonna need dynamite here and let's count off maybe some ways to get there here we go one two three four five six seven eight and then we got 9 and 10. So I guess I don't really need that one. That will be 5 mines right there. That should be enough for now. And this should knock down this just a little bit. But we'll come back once they've got all the dynamite in there. Last time we noticed this area wasn't quite getting enough power. So I want to add another one of these large water wheels. That way, hopefully our batteries are fully charged next time we go into a drought. But well, we might not make this next route. It's in just under two days, but hopefully after that, we won't have as much problem. So let's toss in a couple of blocks here, and that should give us enough room for another one of these. There we go. We'll even put this in too, and we're going to need these to connect in. There we go. And we can even do a little more power here. Let's do that. Let's do this. And we'll put in a couple of straight ones there. Once that's in, we can take out these stairs here. We'll move them somewhere else to replace it and connect those in. But that's definitely going to take a while. These blocks always take a while. In fact, since we have just a couple of blocks over here, let's toss in... How about... A medium pile we'll just put this right here say fill it with dirt and we'll make that a little more important so they can get it done looks like this pile over here is done so we can get rid of that maybe they can use the stuff from here for over here the first section of dynamite here is done so let's go ahead and remove that we'll remove these two and we will put in another round here. 
So those are going to have to go, and all of this is going to have to go. And I don't know, oh, they ought to be able to get to most of it. And what they can't, they can still get to after we blow some of this up. I want to get another hauling tower over here so that I can get rid of some of those uh, kind of fake hauling towers I have on the other side of the map. But I'm going to need to knock down some of this area first. So we're going to put some dynamite in here. However, it would probably be better if we use the right size dynamite on this one. So we've got a one and a two, and then we're going to need threes. I'm going to put it up to there so they can still put all of this in. And we'll let them work on that. It's going to take a while to get that much dynamite in one small area. Well, while we're dynamiting, we might as well get this out of here too. So let's just start working on this. Then we can expand our our large aquifer pumps out here and maybe replace what's over on the other side there, the smaller ones, with something else. I've been noticing we have got a bunch of injured beavers again, and I'm not sure if the injury numbers got turned up or what's going on there, but I want to start on a clinic. We have got plenty of science at the moment, so we'll switch this over to a nursing license and then hopefully if we can get some balm made we can actually get a clinic or two for these beavers built up and maybe they won't get injured so much we've got another layer ready over here so let's take that out of here this can go and then uh, let's go ahead and get in our dynamite here there we go and i want to connect in this right here. Let's take a look and see if we can get at least some of the mines in there. So there'll be one, two. The next one should start here. There's three, four, and five. There we go. That looks good. Once they clear this area out, we'll put some more mines back here in the corner too. With a drought on us, it's more important than ever than we get our solar panels hooked up. So let's do a little focus over here on that. Let's get in the twists and turns here that we're going to have to have. We're going to need, let's see. No, I'm still going to need one of these because it's going to have to come around the corner here. So it's going to have to go that way. Then we need one of these. There we go. And, well, actually, if I do this, I can still go there. And I can reroute this to here. And here we go. There we go. That one and that one. And now we have got at least the beginning of that setup. Once this is all in here, we can take this one out. And then I can reroute a path to up here because I do want to go over this and up here because they might just take that path. In fact, let's go ahead and set up for that while they build that stuff down there. Let's do that. We will grab a platform here. There we go. And then it can go back down here. And over we go. Not too bad. That'll connect things in down there. They've almost got this done. So once that's done there, we can take out these stairs. Get out of there, beaver. There you go. We'll do that. We'll get one of these in here. And we just now need two platforms and a curved stair, which is right here. There we go. Put in that. And that should... Bring us power down from these. Let's make sure that there's somebody in each of these so that they work. Otherwise, they don't work very well. Which, I'm not sure why. You would think a solar panel would work whether somebody's sitting in this chair or not. But, that's uh, alright. Last of our dynamite in this corner is done. So let's take that out. We'll get in two more. Before I forget, I will set them to mountain salt. So that we have the salty mountain range here. And once those fill up, hopefully we'll be getting more types of food. More of the dynamite's done as well, so let's take that out. 
work on our next level, and we'll just work on taking out this whole section so that we can get more of these in there. Not too long ago, we got our irrigation tower in here, and I've been trying to figure out what it is that I want to do with this area. I think the first thing, though, that we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to make some greenhouses for our bananas. Right now, I think that's all you can grow in greenhouses, but that's okay. At least it gives us even more food variety than we have. I'm going to put in three to start out, and then we're going to connect in a road right about here. There we go. I'm just going to come straight out this way. We're going to need another of the tree nurseries to get the banana trees in there. There we go. And I'm going to put in a wood lodge because they're the ones that harvest bananas. Seems a little odd instead of a gatherer, but you know, that's okay. I'm going to grab this and we're going to come over here. And it looks like you can put them up through the tower. That's a bit odd, but we'll put those in there. And let's say bananas. There we go. Let's go ahead and put in bananas here. We'll put in bananas here. We'll even put in bananas here. Say, make sure to cut them all down. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And once those get started, we'll have some bananas. Dynamite over here is done, or at least as far as they can get it. So let's take that out of there. They can get that one in there as we... Continue to bomb our way down through there. Over here, our mines are done, so that's looking good. Hopefully, they'll start bringing in enough salt so that we can make all the food that we need with it. Over here, they've started to get some of this dynamite in, so I'm going to go ahead and remove a couple of these. And we can go ahead and put those in. These can be removed for now. And they can keep working on that until we can get this tower in there. I was looking at my farm over here, and I think it needs a little more access to the lower area. In fact, we might even take this out if we can get some better access. At one time, they were able to reach over here. That's pretty obvious. I don't know why that stopped, unless they changed the range on these, maybe? I don't know when they would have done that, but we can at least get them down there to plant these others. And once those are planted... I'll start working on moving this back. We still need to figure out more of what to do with this, though. We might level out this whole area and put this in one of the waterproof boxes and just have them plant uh, lotus directly out of it. We'll figure that out in time, though. Since we are still low on beavers, which we always are low on beavers, we're just going to toss a couple more on top here. And grab these, and we're going to face this one this way, and then we're going to face another one this way. Same thing over here. We're going to face one, again, out toward the middle, if it'll go. There we go. And then one this way, and we'll put in a little bit of storage here. There's that. And this, and that will give us, what, 6, 12, 24 beavers. That's a little better. A little, uh, couple more beavers here and there to help fill in some spots. I'm noticing this cabbage field here is not getting used at all. There's just cabbages sitting there for entire cycles not getting harvested because we don't need any. So we're going to switch this over. We're going to do some more sunflower seeds, I think. And I'm just going to, let's do, we're going to demolish all of this. All of it can go. Every bit. All of this here. There we go. All of that. You don't need cabbages there. All of this can go. And let's, let's do this as well got to be careful not to get the uh, the tower here, but it looks like I've got it for the most part. 
There we go. All this can come out, and we'll replace it all with sunflower seeds. And we'll keep an eye on it just to make sure the cabbages don't go on a shortage too once we've got salt back. Over here is once again cleaned out, so let's go ahead, take out this next layer. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get through here. We might just do this and see. We have to build some extra stairs somewhere. That's fine. We've got plenty of material for stairs. Take all of these out. We'll take all of that out. And hopefully that lowers that one down one more. They're still working on this area. They've got a couple of the greenhouses in. I'd like to get a fourth one here at least. And maybe another one over here if we start taking this out. However, to get another one in here, we're going to need more of these terraforming blocks, which take forever to build, but that's okay. I'm not in a rush to get any more of these bananas. If we need more, great. If uh, not, well, that's great too. I'm going to go ahead and tell them to plant bananas here as well. There we go. And we'll let them work on that. As for over here, we're going to need to take out at least this part here. So we'll put that in there. Hopefully they can reach it. And then for another... I'm going to need a set of blocks right there. So we'll let them work on that. Check later. I realize they're probably not going to be able to build this top layer until I build the walkway in between. So we're going to go ahead, make sure that we can get out there. Might be easier said than done. There we go. We'll do these. And then we will do these. I don't know if we'll connect them yet. I haven't figured that out. Maybe we'll do something different for this one. But... That should at least let us build one up and build these from there. One more layer down here. There we go. Take that out of there. We want that gone. Let's take you out of there. And then we'll start by putting maybe a ladder somewhere around here. Let's see if we can get a little ladder right here. There we go. And then we'll tell them... But they can fill this whole area in with even more dynamite. We'll just keep going down this way. I was looking around the map and I just noticed this is missing. I don't know when I took that out of there, but it definitely needs to be there. So let's do some more ladders here. Back up you go. We'll say those are actually fairly important because it connects large portions of the map together. So let's do that, and we'll have them get that in there pretty quick. We got a little bit of this dynamite in, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out of there. Are these... I could have swore those were set to lower. Oh, oh well. Let's see if we can get this in here. Yep, we're just going to put you right there. There we go. Oops, not quite there. I want it one more over, please. Right next to it. There you go. And we'll say plant some more bananas in there. See, they're planting them before the greenhouse is done, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. Bananas can grow outside. They're perfectly fine with that. In fact, how are they doing? Are they... They're not even close to needing cut yet, so I'm not going to worry about getting people in that lodge. Over here, they've got our ladders in so we can start taking some of this stuff out maybe if it'll let me click on it there we go gotta get that right angle to get in there so we're put you in there and they can go from the bottom on that one let's go there and we'll just go to here let's say these are slightly more important so we can get that done pretty quick while we're tossing dynamite around everywhere Let's go ahead and get some dynamite in here. I'll want dynamite there eventually, but I don't want the dynamite there now. So let's take that out of there. Yep. And you too. Yep. And you guys, tell you what, you guys go find something else to do. Nothing really there for you to do. 
So we'll just wait on that one. Can you not reach that anymore? No, of course not. That's all right. We'll let that go. They can, they can plant trees at some point. Here's another layer down. Go ahead. Take that out. There we go. Looks good. How many layers do we got left? Looks like three. I don't know if I want to... No, we'll keep doing it the one, the efficient way to do this. However, I'm going to have to put in stairs here, aren't I? Stairs. Quick set of stairs so they can get down there and work on that. This mountain's got some dynamite on it. Let's take care of that. That can go. These can go. There we go. More dynamite over here. We'll just keep with the nice efficient way of the single dynamites for now. Well, they've got this dynamite in at least. So let's get that in there and have them plant lotus. Let's also get rid of this whole thing right here. I believe those are three tall. So we'll just do three dynamites there and they can get to them when they get to them. Actually, let's make that slightly Slightly more important so they can take that out a bit quicker and we can get a little bit more Lotus in here. The last guy's putting in this dynamite here. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take that out of there. We're getting closer here. Let's see. I guess we can do another one. We can still get down there if we need to. Let's do that. We'll toss in some more dynamite. Ta-da. And we'll just repeat. And one more layer down. I'm going to take all that out. And then that leaves us with just one, right? Yep. However, we're going to have to redo this probably. So let's take you out of there. And we will work on this first. So let's take that out. And eventually we're going to have to redo this as well. Which is also going to be very fun. Because it's going to uh, take out the connection to this up here. We'll figure that out in time, though. And another layer off the top of the mountain. There we go. Looks great. Let's take this out of here. Here's more. Here's more. Looking good. So, we'll let that go. I think we're just waiting on various dynamite locations around here. This, we're still waiting on the dirt. They're getting there. That might not make it in this time. It might make it in next time. And there we go. We have finally started collecting some bananas from our nice banana farm over here. How many that's going to bring in? I don't know. We're definitely going to need some storage for them, but we'll get to that next time. We've got a little bit more of the mountain to blow up, and we've got a little bit work uh on that area over by the aquifers to get some more uh water over there so that we can replace out these with probably the advanced sawmill and then i'd like to do some work downtown still here but that's all coming up in the next couple of episodes so just want to say, as always, thank you much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!